welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our brand new set Monster Mash and its coordinating dies. This set is so cute, so let's go ahead and stamp it out. Here we have our first super cute monster, and I have to say, he might be my favorite. Then we have this great little bat monster. This great little round monster. And I love this guy and the little friend he has too. And then we have some really fun sentiments like have a beautiful day. Sending you monster hugs, which I think is my favorite of all the sentiments in this set. I think you're neat. And we have some cute accessories. So we have a great little party hat and a bow tie or a hair bow, depending on how you use it and another great little ghost-like monster. We have some great hearts, both a solid and an outline. And then of course, an exclamation point for the end of your sentiments. So now let's go ahead and add some fun Copic color to these monsters. One thing I love about these monsters is you can color them any color in your imagination. You could add polka dots, you could paper piece them with some cool pattern paper. The possibilities are endless and I can't wait to see what you guys do in creating really cool monsters. And of course, some white gel pen for some shiny teeth. I just love all of these fun and bright happy colors. Next we have our dies and I went ahead and bent them apart at those little wire pieces and separated them to get dies for all of my images in this set. And they're really easy to line up. They line up right with the outside edge of the stamp on the inside part of the die. And then you can run it through your die cut machine just like normal. And one of my favorite parts is when you remove the die and seeing that cute little perfectly cut monster come out. And so here you can have a look at all of the monsters. So cute and I love the fun accessories. So here I'm using the largest stitched rectangle die to create a card base for my card and I love that stitch detail. And then now I'm using the largest of the small set uh, to create a nice mat to create my scene on. And you can see here how nice they look with both with the stitching lines. Here is a set starry backdrops that I love for creating night sky backgrounds. I'm going to go ahead and ink it up in some charcoal ink so that I can get a tone on tone look on my gray cardstock here with a cool dark night sky. I'll go ahead and stamp it for the second time. And I don't need to worry about the bottom because I'm going to cover it up with my grassy border die. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut that out of some nice, fun, bright green cardstock. And I'm just going to line it up and cut out the rest of it. And so now I have a piece long enough that I can trim down to have two layers of grass for my card. This is our new sweater weather stamp set. And it's got this great tree and this really awesome label. So the tree is going to be a fun way to set my scene for Halloween and this label is one of my favorite new stamps because you can put images in it, you can put sentiments in it, it's so cool. And in this case I'm going to take this trick or treat from our spooktacular stamp set and stamp it right in the center. And then now I can use the coordinating dies to cut out both my sweater weather tree and this fun label shape. 
I just love how they're looking. So now I'm going to go ahead and add some color to this label shape because I kind of want it to look like a moon. I thought that would be fun for this Halloween scene was to make this label shape into this moon kind of look. Now I'm going to go ahead and die cut the little trick or treat bag from Spooktacular because we designed that bag to fit perfectly with the monsters in Monster Mash. So now I'm going to go ahead and layer my grass and then I'm going to go pull up all of those grass blades and that's what really makes this die super dynamic is just bending up all of those little blades of grass until they have some great dimension. Now I can layer my second piece and do the same thing just popping up all of those little pieces of grass. Now I'm going to go ahead and start assembling my scene here. I can add on my moon slash sentiment panel with some foam adhesive and then add my tree overlapping a little bit because I thought that would be kind of a cool look. And then I put the monster there and I realized it was kind of plain at the bottom. So I decided, you know what, I'm just going to cut out one more piece of grass, why not? So I went ahead and did that and then I'm going to layer that below on the bottom and I think it really fills that out just a little bit better. And then of course, I'm gonna flick up those blades of grass too. And then I can adhere my cute little monster into his fun trick or treat scene. And then I'll layer that piece, the stitch rectangle layer onto the other stitch rectangle that's on a card base. And my card is all done. Next up, I thought it would be fun to create a Monster Mash card that's not for Halloween because really this set can, can be used all year round. And here I have one of our new wood grain note cards and another stitch rectangle die. I know I'm kind of obsessed with using them right now. And that's going to create my panel on this cool little wood grain note card. And here you'll see I'm placing everything on my card so I can decide where my hillside border should go and also which paper to use from the Sweater Weather collection. And I decided on that really fun navy houndstooth. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just cut part of it out with the stitch rectangle, and then I'm gonna put the stitched hillside on top and cut that out. And that's so that my little rectangle matches up with my hill, having stitching lines on both of them. So I can stamp my fun monster hug sentiment and then start layering all of my pieces. And I love how those stitching lines are lining up and the little monsters look so cute holding hands. I just, they, they make me smile and I hope that whoever I send this card to, it makes them smile too. So now, an excessive use of foam adhesive there. <laughs> and I'm gonna layer that onto my wood grain note card and that's a super simple card that I think would make anybody smile. So here are the two cards that I made in the Monster Mash video, one for Halloween and one for just a general occasion. And here's a card that I made in a previous video, which I'm gonna link right up there so you can go check it out and see another Monster Mash card. And so this is Monster Mash. And I love that this set has the coordinating dies and that it's really a year round set. There's actually nothing in it that's specifically Halloween so you can combine it with sets like Spooktacular that have a Halloween sentiment or you can use them for general everyday cards which I just love and here's a look at another Halloween card that I created so you can really have fun with these monsters and I can't wait to see what you do with them I hope you have an amazing day bye